British car manufacturer McLaren has announced its new supercar, the GTS. It is the successor to the current GT, and has a new name due to improved performance. Pricing has not been announced, but it is expected to be slightly higher than the current GT's £167,560, approximately 30 million yen. One of the main changes is an improvement to the front lift-up function. The system is capable of raising the front end by up to 20 mm, ensuring a minimum ground clearance of 130 mm, comparable to that of a sedan, but it is said that it takes 4.0 seconds to fully raise or lower the front end, about half that of the GT. The hydraulic power steering, which was a feature of the GT, has been specially set up for the GTS, and is said to provide the best feeling in its class, as before. The assist force increases at low speeds to aid steering operation. The output of the 4.0L V8 twin turbo has been improved by 15 PS, producing a maximum output of 635 PS 7500 RPM. Maximum torque remains unchanged at 64.3 kgm 5500-6500 RPM. On the other hand, the vehicle weighs 1520 kg. 10 kilograms lighter than the GT. As a result, McLaren says it has achieved a best-in-class power-to-weight ratio of 418 PS per ton. For reference, the Bentley Continental GT V8 has 257 PS per ton and the Porsche 911 Turbo S has 400 PS. The GTS accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.2 seconds, 0.1 seconds faster than the GT. The interior is almost the same as before. The trim and material combinations are new, but the infotainment uses the same 7.0 inch touchscreen as the GT.